Welcome to Tool Time with Tara. Tonight we have many exciting tools um, to um, play with. And um, I have some fun announcements too. Um, I always forget to do that one thing. Well, usually it's tape runner or something like that. Where are you? Okay. This will take just a second. Hi, Stacy. Thanks, everyone, for joining. So there were so many new tools just in this last launch, and I, sh I showed pictures of three. Um, uh, th the three new ones that came out last Monday, but I also am going to include the bamboo border punch because it's really fun and I haven't showed it on a live yet. Um, and then I also am going to show, sadly, they're no longer available on the Creative Memories website, but I did get, um, one, uh, extra of each. So we'll get to that. So to be entered for the fun Friday giveaway, remember this is what I'm trying for August, um, to see how many people are watching the replay and give people a chance to watch the replay. If I find that people really aren't watching the replay, then I may just go back to how I was doing it. But for now, um, I'm having fun doing the fun Friday giveaways. So how do you get entered? Well, there's four different ways for you to get entered. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know, oh, you know, you could share the video and get entered. Well, now there's three other ways to get entered. So you can just like or love the video. That's easy, right? Um, and, and the reason offer all these things, obviously, is so that more people will see the video. And so, <laughs> thanks, Audrey. So if you like it or love it or, uh, or care for it, <laughs> any, any reaction is fine. Um, if you share the video to your profile, make sure that it's public. And if you have your um, profile pretty locked down, you can just make this one post public. That way I get a notification from Facebook that you've shared it. Um, and so that's the way I'm tracking those. So you don't even have to comment shared, um, because if you make that public, then, then Facebook will tell me. So, uh, tag a friend and the easiest way to do that would be to add the at sign, start typing their name, and then you should see their name pop up and then you can just hit enter. And then finally, those of you that are placing orders either with me personally or through my website. And yes, advisors on my team, that's you too. So um, I have some advisors, Vicki's on here right now, um, on my team. And so if they watch and share, and if they order through themselves, they also get an entry um, to win as well. So lots of different ways. And the ordering goes from last Friday to this Thursday at midnight. So Friday morning orders won't, won't count, but this Friday during my fun Friday giveaway, and it's at 2 PM, there was some confusion. I know I've trained you that I'm on live at five and my fun Friday giveaways are at two, um, <laughs> just to keep everyone guessing. And, um, so people were, Oh, I wasn't in the drawing and that kind of thing. And that was just because they were watching the replay. So, um, yes, <laughs> it will, Stacy. Um, so, yeah, so that's it for getting entered. And I will be in the mountains on Friday at my second mountain retreat of the summer. And with that, I would like to mention, I know it's last minute. I know that, oh, let me get rid of my banner for a second here. Um, and you're probably think I'm even crazy for mentioning it, but you know, that feeling you get when you're in church, the Holy Spirit's moving you. There might be someone sitting there watching this tonight on Tuesday saying, you know what? 
I really want to go scrapbook in the mountains for the for five nights. And um, unfortunately, I had two cancellations this past this past weekend. So I have a total a room totally available. Um, so if you are one person or two people, or if you want to bunk together, three people, four people, yes, I can fit you in. Um, and if I don't have your shirt sizes, I can do that too. So think about it, sleep on it. If you want to jump in the car on Thursday and head up to the mountains for five nights, all your meals and your lodging, it's $600. Um, then just contact me and let, let me know. We'd love to have you um, join us. It's always a great time. It's not a huge group. It's not a huge retreat, but um, I do all the cooking and it's a lot of fun. So it's not too late. Just trying to tempt somebody out there because we've got this house with 26 foot tables. And right now, um, everyone has two six foot tables. Um, so we have tables to share. All right. Yes, it's in two days, but if you're feeling it, we'd love to have you join us. Okay. So the crop for gray and gold is Friday the 16th and 17th. Remember 16th is a preview day. So there's no crazy drawings or raffles or anything like that. It's just 12 to six. You can bring your lunch. You can stay after last in May. We actually stayed um, after the crop and we um, had dinner at VFW and that was really nice. And of course they appreciated a bunch of us staying to have, have dinner there in the, um, at the VFW. So join us if you would like. Um, I think the full tables for just Saturday are almost sold out. Um, so if, if you have to have a full table, then you'll want to get on there. All right. And then as a reminder, let me add my banner back here. See, I designed this with the banner in mind. Now my banner's not there. Okay. Um, as a reminder, in May, we raised almost $3,500 for the Cannonballs for Cane Foundation. And September is Pediatric um, Cancer Awareness Month. So we are raising money once again for um, for Cannonballs for Cane Foundation. And I expect we will do an awesome job for them as we usually do because you ladies are so generous. If you're out of town and or you're not local and you, or you can't make it, you can always Zoom with us. The Zoom is $20. And of course, that whole $20 um, is a donation. So... Um, that's awesome. And you can pop in and out as, as you like, and then you're still, you can still participate in the raffles and that kind of stuff, which is, which is really good. All right. So next Tuesday, a week from today, I will not be live at five again. Love to just keep you guys guessing. Um, because that is the last day of the retreat to the mountains and we have to pack up and I have to drive home that day. My, and then I will definitely be in the car and doing a Techie Tuesday from the road. So to avoid that, I will have Techie Tuesday at 10 a.m., but you can watch a replay if that's more convenient for you, and you'll still be entered to, to win something um, for the following Fun Friday giveaway. All right. So I mentioned this uh, during Fun Friday giveaway, but this is the current advisor join special. So it's, um, it's $49 a year to be an advisor. And when you, uh, when you join, you get a $50 account credit. You also get this awesome album and, um, yeah, so you get your money back basically. And then you start by getting, um, a 10% commission on everything you sell and or buy. So if you're your best customer, then you would get 10% back on that. And it goes all the way up to, um, 40%. So there are different levels there. And if you have any questions, of course, I'm happy to answer those at any time. Um, I don't think I did a post about it, but 
I'm sure I've mentioned it that while I was in the mountains in July, it was my 22nd anniversary of creative memories. So it's definitely something that I love to do. All right. So this is a little sneak peek at our Croptoberfest theme. Let's go nuts. You know, I'm going to be having fun with that. Got my little bitmoji in a squirrel costume. It's going to be a great, great time. Oh, well, thanks for catching me in the car, Debbie. Um, so still working out the details about how I can work some sort of in-person component to my Croptoberfest. As you know, in the past um, few years, they've been virtual only and they've um, we've had we've had lots of fun with them virtual only. They're a 10 day event. There's uh crop, Zoom crops and different stuff. So I'm trying to figure out, I do know that the VFW is not available um, at all in October. So that puts the VFW out in Port Orange. So looking at some other options and I will keep you posted as you know, I will. All right. Many thanks to those of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, slowly ticking up there. Would love to get to a hundred. So if you have a YouTube, um, if you have a Gmail account and you can sign in and subscribe to my YouTube, I would much appreciate it. Everything I do live on Facebook, um, also broadcasts to YouTube. Um, so you can watch me on YouTube and it is easier if you're trying to watch a replay, if you want to watch a replay of a certain card class or a certain techie Tuesday, um, I try to keep my videos, uh, organized by playlists so you can see all the techie Tuesdays, or you can see all the project recipes, that kind of stuff. All right. Finally, uh, memory maniacs 60th retreat. My 60th retreat will be this coming March, March 8th to the 12th, the middle of March. And, um, it's going to be wild and groovy. It's my 60th. Um, so we will definitely have a tie dye sixties, uh, the theme to it, but just for the, just for one day. And then the rest of it, we're going to be our, our normal wild self, um, that's kind of a throw over from uh, the all the 14 scrap of cruises I ran. Um, we always wore animal animal prints because we're just, you know, wild. How many people, um, you know, take a cruise in scrapbook? Not many. All right. So let's see. Let's get started with these tools. Why don't we? Um, I should probably just... Uh, Remind everyone that's hopped on since I started my little slides that to get entered uh, for the Fun Friday giveaway, you either want to like or love, react somehow to this video, share this video, make sure that it's on public, tag a friend in the comments, or place an order, any orders placed on my website from last Friday to this coming Thursday will count, and you will see your name spinning in the Wheel of Names on Friday. All right. Well, let's talk oh, really, really quick, quick about these six punches. So we've got the teardrop lattice, the river waves, the beaded ovals, the ribbon lace border maker uh, cartridge, and so many, I can't even remember their names. Uh, the tree line and the decorative arcs. Okay, so they were available to order from last Monday just until today at 1 p.m. Oh, I'm echoing. Thank you. Thanks, Vicky. Um, hopefully that's better. So they went they went off the Creative Memories website today at 1 p.m. Eastern. I have one more of each of those. So if there's anyone watching, the big ones are $28.50 and the border maker cartridge is $19.50. Of course, you have to have the border maker system to use um, to use this. But if anyone is interested in one of these, then you can put it in the comments or um, you can message me separately and I will set it aside. I have one extra of each of them. All right.
Okay, you can hear me now. So hopefully you can hear me. We're not going to make a page with all of these. So I'm going to put these off to the side. This one, Stacy. Or, yeah, that's the arches one. Or the arcs one. Or did you mean this one, the new one? <laughs> one's arcs, one's arches. Excuse me while I clear my work space. That was really just an excuse for me to grab my adhesive because I also forgot that. Oh, you know what I didn't make a little graphic for? Um, many of you saw the cards for this month posted on Facebook. So these are the these are the cards and they are super cute. And so if you are on a subscription, you are all set. Your cards will automatically come to you like magic. Okay, that was the decorative arcs. Um, I will get that for you. Um, so if you're on the subscription, they're going to automatically come to you. If you're not on the subscription, you can order them on my website. You can go to Daytona Area Scrapbooking and let me and place an order. The card kits are $25. Everything comes pre-cut and then we assemble them online together um, on Facebook Live. And that will be on August 30th. Oh, and you know what? I didn't have a graphic too. In two weeks, Debbie's on there, right? Um, in two weeks, Debbie Key, um, who, if you've ever been to an in-person thing, you probably have met her because um, she has been to more of my retreats than anyone. So she is going to be my, my guest on Let's Talk About It. And um, so we're going to talk about her scrapbooking process and um, when she started scrapbooking, how she scrapbooks, what she scrapbooks, um, all those, and why she never misses one of my retreats. <laughs> yes, and Stacy will be my guest um, in November, I believe, the next month where we have five Tuesdays. That's what um, I do when it's five Tuesdays. So I just opened this pack and didn't even tell you what it was. So tonight, to use our new tools, I am, I downloaded, I printed a sketch from the blog. So this is a sketch from the Creative Memories blog. And the reason why I'm working off this sketch today is a couple reasons. One is because Croptoberfest is coming and there's all the little challenges and they're all with sketches. And so I want to take the, you know, I want people to feel like they're comfortable with, um, with the sketches. Uh, because they shouldn't be, you know, scary. But when you see this and there's no instruction, so some people thrive with this type of environment because, you know, they don't have to measure anything. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Other people, and I have a science background, so I tend to be the other people, like when there's directions, not, not that I necessarily read them all. If you've watched a, a project recipe, then you know that very well. But, um, but I, so anyway, I'm going to show you how to work this sketch. So we're going to work this sketch. I'm using two pieces from the Totally Tonal Zoo. And I will likely use these for pictures of, um, from, uh, Animal Kingdom. Because I went last fall with my cousin and her husband and little boy and my aunt. All right. So I'm just going to tell you kind of my thought process. When I'm looking at a sketch, I'm looking for long, um, either sticker, they can be sticker borders. Let me bring this up close. Can you see it? Let me see if I can mess with, probably messing with this too much. Um, it's kind of hard to see because they're white. But 
there's kind of it looks like clouds going along here and then there's some at the bits to hop so i when i look at a sketch i'm thinking okay i either i'm going to use a sticker or in this case i'm going to show um, the new leafy vine border maker uh punch and so i'm going to kind of run that across the top and bottom i'm going to new use the new um sun uh what is this sun sun something <laughs> sun or sun sunshine arches this is this is just came out last week too um it is called sun yeah sunshine arches whoops so sunshine arches it kind of remembered remembered kind of reminded me of like a like a cage so or a railing or something so i'm gonna i'm gonna do um I'm going to use that down in this bottom section. And then, of course, these dark ones are all pictures. So this is not matted. These four are not matted. This one is matted. And then, of course, we've got our journal box. So I'm just going to dive right in. I've kind of I picked um, my colors that I wanted to use ahead of time. So I'm going to use some white mainly for matting my photo in my journal box. I'm going to use this for my decorative arches. Um, and then I'm going to use this for, um, this was from vitamin C. This is from welcome home. And this is some green card stock I've lying around. So I'm going to take all these things and we're going to make the sketch. All right. So I'm going to start with um, the new leaf leafy vine and so if you um and once again i have too many things <laughs> what am i doing with this all right so the leafy vine you have to open it up that is important and this is just our you know two-sided printed paper it needs to go in the front it can really go anywhere in between these two black lines on the front can you see them they're tiny little black lines. Now, the older punches don't have this. This was um, something that was added and was amazing addition to these punches. So you're going to just put it in anywhere in between those two black lines, punch, and then slide it out until it covers the whole design over here. So I'm going to match up the design and then just punch and slide. And... It's like butter. I am such a sucker for leaf punches. Like leafy foliage. I don't know. Maybe it's because we're in Florida. I don't think I have a lot of, I particularly have a lot of things that, you know, happen in the woods. But, um, so I need to do four of these. And I love too. So back in the day with some of these punches, it left like an uneven edge and you had to go back and trim it off. I love now, I don't know how they do it, the engineers, but um, I love that, um, that you don't have to take that extra step and get your favorite trimmer, which I also need to grab. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is start like right in the middle. I'm gonna, um, oh yes, I'm a big fan of the leafery. Um, I started in the middle, so that way my borders aren't like 100% um, like matchy matchy. Does that make sense? Like, I don't want them to, you'll see. It just offers a little bit of um, staggering, especially if they're like next to each other. Um, and these aren't gonna be next to each other, but there's gonna be four on the two pages. And so, okay. So this is what I, this is what is by, by, so they started at different positions in the um, in the vine so that you can almost kind of wedge them together. And if they were, um, you know, if I had started them the same, I need to find, then they, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do that as well. You could still do it. This is a fabulous punch, by the way. 
if this isn't part of your collection, I feel like you're you'll be you'll be sad at some point. <laughs> when you need when you need something leafy or leafery. Well, hi Jackie and Gail. I'll be seeing you both this weekend. All right, and if that happens and it's just this tiny little thing, we can just we can just pull that right off. All right, one more of these. I could have mixed it up too with the different green, but I'm going to keep all these the same and I'm going to do the bamboo in the lighter green. So this is really just, these are really easy punches to use. Once you, let's look, let's check out the punch boop. Mm, nothing super exciting. I'm sure somebody out there will come up with something to do with them. All right, now I'm going to do... Um, I'm just going to do one bamboo because here's what I thought I'd do with the bamboo. I don't want to cross over, but these are four by sixes over here. So I am just going to do um, a, just one 12 inch of bamboo and do a six, in, six inch section over here and six inch over here. That isn't on the sketch, but I really just wanted to use the bamboo punch. And so, so that's why I did it. So this is card stock, just so you can see. The first one was um, was just our, you know, double dipped paper. But this is um, just just card stock. And isn't this bamboo? so fun what did i do over here all right i love this bamboo talk about leafery now i guess i didn't line that up perfect but it's all right it's very forgiving oh i love it all right so that is that And let's see, this is the paper that I'm going to use. Stick this back down. This is what I'm going to use the sunshine arches. And so in order to use the border maker system, you flip out the guide from the tool and then you open this up. And that's the little a magnet strip here holds it in place. And then you flip it back underneath. And then we take the cartridge and put it into here. Just like that. And then there's a notch on the front here that lines up with the notch there. Yes, Deb, I do too. And then you just punch. Now I'm going to do, so this is one that stays attached to the page. So I'm going to need to trim that off. Let's check out the punch poop. Uh, I mean, nothing I would use on this page, mm -hmm. but there might be something you could use that for. I have no idea how I sat down to do this without my trimmer, but I did. All right, so I am just going to trim this off, and it's going to be kind of covered with leaves, so I'm not going to worry too much about the thickness, but I need to do another one of those. 
we will repeat the process here. But I, I, what I love is how fast all these tools are. Um, they're heavy, but they're fast. Those of you going to the mountains, don't forget in my email today, um, because I have so many of these punches, um, I now have started only bringing ones that people request because it's just so heavy and I'm getting old. I've been doing this 22 years. <laughs> so I need to, um, I just bring what is requested. All right. Okay. So we've got those pieces. Now I'm going to, I've showed this before, this technique with a little bit of an offset with the border maker cartridges. It's kind of like a shadow. And so I'm going to do that with these because I'm afraid this color that I picked, this light gray, I don't know why I'm like sitting so far off center here. I think this is better. Um, Uh, I'm afraid that on the bamboo background paper that I'm using that it won't really pop. So I'm going to offset it and instead of put, putting this away and taking out the trimmer and then doing it again, I'm going to do like this, cut from both sides, and then I just have to exchange my tools one time. Isn't this a neat punch? This border maker punch is very cool. All right, and then while I have this out here, okay, so I've got arches, I've got leafery, I got all kinds of stuff. Now what I need is um, two four by sixes. So I'm going to go out to the four inch and then flip this bad boy out and go to six. Yes. Um, Vicki, I, we, there was a, a rail, some bridge, um, I think it was in Kansas that was on our, when we did Route 66 and it was called, I think it was called a rainbow bridge or something. I don't make that. I'm not in, I don't know that much about architecture to know, but that might even be what they're called. But it reminded me of the same. It reminded me of a bridge. So. Okay. So I'm just going to work on just, Laying this out according to the sketch over here. My leafery is hooking together. All right, so I kind of want um, one up there, one down here. Half of this is going to be on the side. I'm going to cut that. One of these is over here. Then I'll do two four by sixes like this. I'm going to offset these. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with offset, you're just going to take, you're going to take one on top of the other and just offset them a, a little bit. So you can either go, you can go left or right. You can go up, down, but it just gives it like a little bit of a shadow and so then you can you can see it a little better. Now what I need is a chunk for the bottom for this to interact with. I'm going to use this one. Let's see. This is five and a half. So I can go two and two. 
So I'm going to go to really, wow. I don't know where I just grabbed this from, but it's all bent. It's going to look, I'm giving this paper new life. It was like the velveteen rabbit. I just loved on my shelf, a little bent. Thought it was never going to make it to the big time for a scrapbook page. Here you are, buddy. Green card stock. Just living your best life. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna put this down at the bottom. And I wish I had pre-printed some pictures from to put this put on this page. All right. So this green chunk's going on the bottom. And then this little offset situation is going to go here. Now I'm going to use, see all these little holes. Actually, that's a kind of nice pattern too. Um, I'm going to grab some reposition. This is a job for repositionable tape. It's all the little dots. You can just kind of go right over all this. And... You don't have to painstakingly put adhesive like on these little bars. So I want this one to be up a little higher. So I'm going to put it even with the bottom. I can do that. Come here, little friend. All right. And then this one is going to slip just a little bit underneath the green. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right. So. So I've got just this little bit of um, white. Note to self, the white does not show up great. I think you can see it. Now we're gonna put this greenery over here. Hold it, please. My bamboo is showing. Tuck in your bamboo. All right, so I could do the same thing with the repositionable on here and add that. Now I could go right up, I think I'm going to go right up to that edge, kind of hide that seam. All right. Now I'm going to cut this. At six inches, it's going to be my little accent up the side. Overlap onto my little mat. Then this is going to go over here. All right. Let me push this back up out of the way. Make sure I got the right adhesive. Sometimes you get a little over, over adhesive there. Wow, did you see that bamboo just jump out of my hand? Okay. All right. Oh, this one's not stuck down. So this side is almost done. Now it feels a little empty because I don't have the pictures on it. Um, but 
they will obviously go. They'll go here and here, slide under that. So how are we doing on our sketch so far? I think pretty good. You can't really see it, so you'll just have to take my word for it. And then we're just going to repeat, rinse and repeat over here. Make sure I got the right. Once again, I love to get off, get off screen. Oh, would you like the way I made sure that that was down nice and tight when you know I'm going to have to pick it back up again? Come on, self. I'm using the repositionable again for this so I don't even have to pay attention to trying to hit those lines. Now I'm going to slide this over here. My dad, as some of you know, my dad has been visiting from Arizona, and this is his last night here. So, um, we are going. We are going out to eat. Aiden is going to come home from Jack's for dinner. April flew to L.A. today. <laughs> You guys think I'm bad. I know she comes by it naturally, right? What am I even saying? But yeah, she flew to LA today. She has lifeguard nationals. Remember when I said I made sure to stick this down really nice and good? Um, so she's defending her national title in the prone, prone board at lifeguard nationals. Their tractor trailer with all their equipment broke down yesterday and now is not arriving until Wednesday. Um, thankfully she doesn't start racing till Thursday, but her friend that she's traveling with, who's a local high school student, she needs her equipment for Wednesday for juniors. All righty. So we put this up here make these oh well that's a good thing about the repositionable um, it truly is repositionable and if you are like me then that is a good thing and the repositionable when you go over you just kind of rub it off it's no big deal what you don't want to do is I'd apply your repositionable on top of your project. Otherwise, you get little tiny adhesive dots all over your project. Now, what I if I was smart, I would line up these next to each other. At least sort of. So that's going to go like that. And I'm going to, this will be my journal box over here. So one, or maybe I'll end up matting photos with both of them. Let's see how much space did I leave over there. Well, I don't know, but there's kind of a grudge match between the LA guards and the Florida guards and all the Florida guards from all over Florida. They're, pre they're pretty close knit. So they, um, and if anyone's like, what is she talking about? I'm answering Stacy's question. Um, so like April was able to procure from her friends um, out in California uh, equipment for the, the girl that's competing in juniors tomorrow. Um, and hopefully the, the truck will arrive tomorrow, but yeah, if you didn't have, and, and the, the lifeguard community is so great about that as far as like sharing equipment and stuff. So, um, yeah, we were joking. We we're like, I don't think that they're going to rearrange the agenda 
to help out the Florida guards because when it comes down to the actual comp, it's pretty competitive between um, California and Florida guards. All right, so it kind of doesn't look like much because I don't have my pictures on it, but I think they're gonna look super cute. And we used one, two, three of those. Now, I want to show you the new heart punch. This one, you open the same way. Um, people get really confused when they flip it over because the old punches, you basically, what you saw on the bottom is what you get. And because a lot of the new punches like have an embossing feature, which this one doesn't, but it's, it's not always um, exactly what you see. So isn't that just too cute? Now, when we're talking punch poop, this one's where it's at. Look at, look at, you got four different size or five. I'm missing one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Where are you, fifth heart? Oh, there you are. I love, um, I, I love, I love symmetry in most, in most things, in most everything, but I do like an asymmetrical heart. Um, so what's great about this punch i think is that you can put the punch poop <laughs> you know back back in to the little spots and you can punch um other colors and it gives a really nice effect. If you go to the blog where I got my, um, where I got my sketch, the Creative Memories blog, you will see some great ideas with, with this. So that one, I didn't even do a whole one. I just wanted to get out some different color, um, punches what's our time like do we have time we got a few minutes i'm gonna do a quick border this was on the blog i grabbed a do you have bags like this like this was from the card kit from last summer so i have this like random bag of colors that are fun and um and this is a great punch if you're trying to use up scraps too. So I don't even need to use these big guys. And I've got a ready made border here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't need this piece. I'm gonna punch um, I do want, well, you know what? Maybe I want, right. oh, an angel. Yes, I see, I see the little wings. All right, so this is two. So let's go one and three quarters here. And I'm gonna punch. Now this can be done with lots of different, um, we used to do this back in the day um, with our ABC stickers. Uh, some of you may remember this technique where you kind of overhang. Um, so I'm gonna, do two of each color and you see how i kind of shake it after you punch it don't just um forge ahead to the next one because sometimes especially
Come back. Who let me not touch the camera? Golly. I will get used to that eventually. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> we just had to take a, a pause for the uh, the Nikon ad. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to contact them about about their interruption. They need to do a, an update on the DSLR software. So what I'm doing is doing two out of these scrap pieces, two punches of each color. And I might need to do more. We're going to see. And I'm just going to kind of, these um, uh, have a great like puzzling effect. See how they kind of nest really nice. Um, and it's okay for them to be like hanging, hanging off like that. So I might need to punch some more, but I'm going to start putting, I, I love they're like exactly the same and I'm flipping them over Please. and I'm doing it. I'm still doing it. All right. Is that, so now let me load them up. Does anyone remember doing that with the ABC stickers? They're like, we, we don't even know what you're doing yet. So how could we, how could we remember? So for school pages, way back in the day, this is before Cricut when we had all those sticker letters, um, to get, to use up our, our leftovers, um, because you always ended up with weird, weird letters that you, um, that you're never going to, you know, finish. So we would do something similar to this with all of our letters and and then you go back in. Well, first we're going to oh, wear scissors when you need it. Hold please. pair of CM scissors are never too far out of reach. So then you can come back and just trim off the edges like this. I mean, back in the day, like we use borders, you know, for everything. I don't know. Our, our borders really don't use them like as much anyway standalones but um so that's the effect you get then you can go back in and fill in these pieces with all the different with all the different colors they do have to go a certain way and they are different sizes and my fingers are fat So that's the effect. I think it's a delightful little punch. Kind of reminds me of Care Bears. I don't know why. Um, so that one did not go away today. Of course, that one is the full of love punch. And I think it's super fun. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the Sunshine Arches, Border Maker Cartridge, the Bamboo Border Punch, the Leafy Vine Border Punch, the Full of Love Punch. We have so many tools. And, oh, I did... Um, discover something very exciting. All right, since it is tool time, hold please again. S 
so we have been looking for the perfect thing to hold border maker cartridges in and this came out now this is not your ordinary paper holder um i will deb um it's $22, so much more than, you know, the $6 one you get on sale at Michael's. But I would not, how many are in here? There are 39 border maker cartridges in their boxes inside this. And you can carry it. I mean, it's heavy, but you can lift it up and these little thingies do not unlatch. So if you don't have a, cur a current storage situation for your border maker cartridges, of course you could, you could put them in um, without the boxes as well and probably fit more in. But these can handle the weight. Um, and uh, so that was just something I discovered. Um, <laughs> yes, it is, it is heavy, but even just to store them all in your house, um, it is a great place. And when you think about, um, yeah, the, the cost of this box, like I said, you can get a... Uh, you know, one that isn't as strong and sturdy um, at a craft store for much less than $22. But when you're storing, well, let's be honest, 40, uh, 40 of Thank you, Deb. <laughs> I was just talking, talking away. So what I was saying was uh, 40 cartridges times $20, that's $800. That's a lot of money. And so to um, to spend $22 on a, uh, on a sturdy uh, thing to hold them in is, is good. Now we have other holders that zip that work in them too, but I was very excited to see that um that those fit another use for that paper folder all right so in case you got on late and you didn't see this already um there are four different ways for you to get registered for the fun friday giveaway i will be giving ten dollars off um your next order uh to one person plus a variety of other um decorative materials so um you can like or love or react to this video in some way, share this video, make sure it's public, uh, tag a friend in the comments or place an order. And that means you, scrappy friend who's watching the replay. You have all the way until the end of Thursday to do that. And then Friday at two, you will um, be entered into the fun Friday giveaway. So no worries if you miss the live and you're watching this on replay. Um, you can still do all of those things. So that is all for now. It feels weird to not um, be giving something away right the second. But thank you all for being on here. Thanks for doing all the things. And I guess until I see you... Next Tuesday, don't forget 10 a.m. And it will be a Techie Tuesday. It will be a design. Still no sound? No, I'm back. Okay. That was a whole comment. Um, I will be doing a design along in Artisan 6. So you will want to see that. So thank you all for joining me. And until I see you all again, stay scrappy, my friends. Bye-bye.